In this video, we'll reveal the truth about Fettuccine Alfredo and show you how to make this popular dish. Before we get started, we hope you'll subscribe to our channel and click the bell for new video notifications. Ask most Italians about Fettuccine Alfredo and a likely response is Who is this Alfredo? So, is this an Italian dish or not? Is it popular in Italy or not? Well, yes and no. The basics of this dish, which is pasta with butter and parmigiano, is a traditional Italian dish. So it's just a name issue, but why Alfredo? So while we make the pasta, let's answer the burning question. Who's Alfredo and how did he get his name on a dish so simple? Alfredo refers to Alfredo di Lelio, the owner of a restaurant in Rome who rediscovered and perfected this common Italian dish in the early 1900. How? By tripling the butter and performing the mantecatura right on the table. Essentially, he was finishing off the dish on the table. The recipe quickly became a favorite of US soldiers during and after the Second World War and then, of course, American tourists who love how the restaurants prepare the dish with flair right at the table and use fettuccine as the pasta of choice. But if you go to Italy nowadays, the only places where you can find the fettuccine Alfredo on a menu are usually tourist traps in the major Italian cities. So if you happen to be in Italy and smart enough to pick a restaurant not made for tourists, just ask for fettuccine burro e parmigiano, and any chef will likely make it for you even if it's not on the menu. To make fettuccine alfredo, start by cooking fettuccine to al dente, according to your package instructions, or make fettuccine yourself as we're doing here. Then the hot cooked fettuccine is mixed with butter and served on a plate or a bowl. When the butter is melted and coats the pasta, add finely ground and sifted aged parmigiano reggiano, parmigiano reggiano, not parmesan. Mix and use a few more ladles of hot pasta water to help you out in the process. And that's it! The butter and starch from the pasta water creates an emulsion with the cheese as it melts, creating the creamy, decadent sauce that everyone loves. Fettuccine burro e parmigiano, aka Alfredo, should be made without cream. Cream is never ever added to this dish in Italy, even in the tourist traps that I was talking about before. It's a total waste, adds calories and not taste. Now I'm well aware that those beautiful tempting jars of Alfredo sauce that you find at groceries are made with heavy cream, starch, garlic powder and many other wonders. Just don't buy them. Anything other than butter and parmigiano won't improve this dish. Mmm, so creamy and deliciously simple. And if you like this video or learned something new, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more traditional recipes like this from Italy and beyond. Ciao ciao!